All right, guys, how are, how's everybody? Uh, peace of Christ, all of you. I am here just uh, to answer this poor person. I really feel sorry for him. Um, I'm not going to even to keep this video, but um, I saw this comment in, in my video. Um, this person, her name is uh, Pituna Babek. I'm not sure, maybe this is an Indonesian name. Your video work for an uneducated people. My friend, this is explain why you are here. You pointed out several facts and truth. Uh huh. It is just you are going into circle. Now I should try. You know I should create a new Quran for you, because in order to get out of those circles, which people are speaking about them for the last fourteen hundred years, I have to come with something new. Do you have a new Quran for us, my friend? I mean, I don't know. I feel sorry for you. You have a problem. And, uh, you know, you can read and look here. He's saying, uh, false point of view. Hold on. Uh, you can read it, all of it. Uh, as you said in your other channel, that people are not interested uh, uh, because uh, the way you approach your audience. My friend, if people are not interested, as you are saying, uh, I did not say people are not interested. I said that I want more people to be interested. Because as you see, I just made a video. I have a couple of thousands. So, obviously, people are interested. But I want more. So, you are being foolish here. You are being a child. It is... It isn't mature enough. Uh, you claim that people only view the debate channel because uh, it more give excitement to them. Yeah, this is true because people want to hear uh, two opinion. Uh, that uh, people only debate channel because giving excitement. Okay, uh, through the educational uh, background of Indonesian or white people who support you. You, you see, you, you are just literally a donkey. 90% of those who subscribe to my Patreon, they are in, uh, from Indonesia or from India, and they cannot make a donation because simply they cannot. You know, their cards are not accepted if they have a card. So you are a fool and you do not know what are you talking about. And then he is even calculating how much donation I'm making. Look here. <laughs> you have more than 1,000 Patreon. I don't have a thousand Patreon, you don't care. What are you talking about? Secondly, those people, they subscribe to my channel doesn't mean they are donating. You can do the same. You can subscribe too. You are a certified idiot. And you no, know, this guy, he is calculating how many subscribers, how much they donate, how much money. Uh, you know, I mean, you, you must be mentally ill and you have an issue, you know. And then uh, I'm trying to understand, like, what do you want exactly? Uh, let us see here. Uh, the same level of education as you or below you. Okay. Let us say for the sake of argument, you are right. Those are the same level of my education or below me. What's your problem? I mean, why you are in pain? And, and if I am not in your education level, why you are here? Why you are stupid? <laughs> Look, if this guy is not even, he don't have an education. And you are writing all of this about me? It's enough to make a book, man. Why you don't make a book? Hmm? As you fed them with uh, with what they want to hear through your chosen uh, verses. My friend, okay, I don't want to choose in verses. You call me and show me the verses you like. And look how, how funny you are. Okay, from the video today, do you have a response for anything I said? And how many times I said, who oh, are you Muslim want to call me? And you said in different posts, you tried to call me many times. Okay, I have a challenge for you. You see, actually, I posted for you here saying, give me your Skype, I will go live on air for you. Here we go. Where is my, let me refresh the post. I said, I will go live just for you. Just only for you, not for anyone else. You know, just for you, my friend. And I will open my Skype for you so you can call me. I want to see who is this genius Hmm?
This is going to be interesting. I mean, Christian Prince, he keeps saying, who want to call me? Who want to? I don't choose people to call me. I say, who want to call me? And you potato saying, you I refuse to talk to you. What do you mean? What does that mean? Are you a Muslim or are you are a potato? Or potato and Muslim at the same time? demonstration by clicking here or call us today at one I mean, what's wrong with those people we're looking <laughs> what those so what do you want exactly how I can help you my friend and you know we are uh, all of us here we don't have education you are the smart person um you know what are you talking about but still you did not answer anything in the video so where is where is your answer uh, as an example the end Suleiman he I, I have a chosen verses but that will not change anything that will not change that the Quran is stupid and that will not change that you are stupid too because I cannot come to you with the new verses what I would do do you want me to make a new Quran so you hear something new <laughs> I don't know who's this guy. <laughs> you know, and you look Indonesian and white people. Who what Indonesian? What white people? Are you are you stupid or what? Why you are being a racist? People, everybody is welcome. Uh, he said here, uh, those scholars spent years of their life to back up and support their statement, books. Or, or reviews even if you pointed out false statement of scholars okay guys I point out false statement of scholars so how I'm pointing out false statement of scholars like we are showing you know I'm showing on the screen I mean this is stupid how I'm pointing it out if it's not there and I showed in the screen you should have shown a miracle of those scholars false point of view or teaching okay so why you call them a scholar you donkey if their point is false why you yourself you are calling them scholars you must be stupid because if they are false and they have false point of view and yet you call them muslim scholars that means you are the one who have a problem not them those should not be called scholars <laughs> I should not be called <laughs> anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, your statement, video, or writing, I think it's important for you to have a peer review and not just a review from biased people or people who have their own agenda. Aha. Uh -huh okay and uh, why you don't call me okay you know my friend I'm going to go on Skype is this guy live on air I mean is he is he is he in the chat I'm sure he will not call he will not uh, are you there my friend I posted for you here asking you for your Skype did you post it see he is he, is, uh, he can hear me as long as you claim that you uh, to be educated, what are you? Uh, sorry, this is uh, someone else. Yeah, they are answering him. Yeah, he will not call me. I mean, I keep saying, who wanna call me? Who wanna call me? I don't say who wanna call. Who can call? Who cannot call? I say only if you are a Muslim, call me. So are you a Muslim or not? And the reason I say only Muslim can call me because I want to show people the other side of the story, which is very logical. Otherwise, Christians who support me, as you said, calling me and agree with me, that will not make any difference. So I always say, well, if you are a Muslim, call me. So now, are you a Muslim? You want to call me? Hmm? I know, I feel really sorry for you. Especially here, you say, you tried many times to contact me. How is that happening? Maybe you are not a Muslim then because I say only Muslims call anyway you see I just wanted to uh, sh uh, share this uh, some people they have mental illness really I mean, either jealousy I don't know I tried to contact you several times but you refused the call I don't think those people whom you claim afraid to debate you or debate with you are real 
I think the truth you refuse those people calls. I don't think they are coward, but you are coward. Okay. Well, I called, I mean, I have my Skype open. People, they can hear the one who called me and they are Muslims. And those are not real. I called Mimi Hijab. This is not real. Uh, we challenge Fifi. This is not real. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to open Skype, my friend. I, I, I really feel for you. Sound like you are very sad. Just for you. I will not accept anyone to call me except you. Here we go. I am in Skype now. Call me. Mr. Pitu Pitunia. I'm really interested to see your intelligence. Let us see here somebody. What is the... Is he in the chat? No, Ultimate Farty don't... Uh, yeah, this person, he have a mental issue. Uh. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm looking, I don't know. What are you... I'm not seeing any call from anyone. No, no uh, ultimate fart. Ultimate fart. He called me. He says, "Did you say that Jesus have sex with me, me uh, with Mary?" <laughs> what do you want to answer this guy? <laughs> this is the one you have. <laughs> Each time we call, he call me, he come with this topic, and I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Did you see that Jesus have sex with me? <laughs> Is a woman? Oh, well, obviously she have a mental issue then. Whoever this woman, she is hurt, you know. She is hurt and she is uh, suffering with stupidity. Well, I thought it's really a Muslim man or something, but obviously there's somebody have a problem. Yeah, how you know it's a it's a woman. This is the name of a woman. Is that the name of a woman? And anyway, you know, we will come, everybody. We don't choose our callers because anyone can call me. Like this guy, he called himself Zaki. Do I know him? He called himself Zaki. Even he said to me, I blocked him before. I said, okay, just change your name and call me again. Yeah. Yeah, but obviously this person is uh, in pain. Let me delay the comment then. I thought, you know, I thought it's somebody like interesting. But uh, sound like somebody suffering from something. You know, there's some people they try to talk to me just to talk to me, and maybe this is one of them. You know, um, we don't want to go in details. There's some people they have mental issue. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, it's possible I, did, I refuse to talk to her, and that's why she is very upset. That's now explain the story. A lot of pain there. Uh, they all know you said it is, and this is China we are talking about. I don't know. Uh, Mm 
they all know you said it is in his channel you, you was talking with Adam who supposedly converted to Christianity then a month later you called you, you called you called you to say he was agnostic liar well if he is a liar like your prophet that's his business Abra for me you can call me and you can tell me whatever you want And by the way, you as a Muslim, you're allowed to lie. Maybe, maybe he's a Muslim. He called me lie uh, to make uh, his own agenda, maybe. I don't know. Isn't it your prophet said you can lie in three cases? No? You can even lie to your wife? They are in a hurt. You know, they are really get hurt. Anyway, look. People are not interested in my videos, and I have 5,000 there. Ooh, you know, 5,000. I mean, if this is no people interested, and I have 5,000, I don't know what interested mean. Right? For me, I do not know who called me. I do not know what people uh, uh, want. I receive calls. You want to lie, you can lie. You want to say, Muslim, they call me and they say he was a Catholic and he became a Christian. I laugh. You ask him a question from the Bible, he have no idea. This is what you do always, Muslims. Anyway, if this uh, lady, Petonia, uh, want to call, I will take her call only live on air, nothing private. Some people, they try to call in private and this is why maybe she is upset. Right. We refuse, we refuse only people who block them because they are rude, filthy, um, and they say stupid things. Otherwise, you know, like this Abbas, how many times Abbas called me? We have hundreds of videos, and then I cannot take it no more, I blocked him. But all of those, you, the names you mentioned, not only we spoke to them once, twice, three times, five times, we have tons of recording with them calling me. Isn't it enough? They made their point, and we got them busted, and the video is there. Name anyone. All right? Uh. Sorry guys, I came back live. I thought there is somebody need help. I don't know. I mean, obviously this person need help, but I am not. Uh, I'm not here to do therapy for some people. And about me repeating topic, what do you want me to to do? I mean, uh, uh, there is average people who want easy things to understand and to see, and that's what we do. Like instead of crying and saying you are repeating the same thing, what do you want me to do exactly? Every day, and by the way, we don't repeat everything. Depend in the topic. The guy was talking about, uh, you know, he's debating atheist, so we answer based on the topic. So I cannot create a new Quran for you to entertain you, my friend. You come with a new one, or maybe you call Muhammad, so we can come with a new topic. So I, I uh, like this person said, I have my chosen verses. Why I wanna? Why I will not choose verses? And how many times I said, any Muslim can call me, you choose a topic. Challenge. Correct, guys? Hundred and thousand of times. I say, I'm not going to ask you the question. Go and see my recording. I will not ask you the question. You call me, and you tell me what you want to talk about. I mean, what I can do? <laughs> Honestly, what I can do more? You call me, you tell me what you want to talk about. Like this guy Zaki, when he called me, did I tell you what you uh, did? I tell him this is the topic. Talk only about this. I said, what do you want? He said, you lied. I said, about what? He said about uh, you know, those are the Christian from Najran. I said, okay, let's see. I did not choose for him the topic. So I feel sorry for this person. You know, this lady. Obviously, she is hurt. She's trying to talk to me, and I'm refusing to talk to her. And that's you know. Lady, some ladies did do that. Not all of them, but some ladies did do that. I always say I don't want to talk in private. If you want to talk to me, you know, you call me when I'm live, 
otherwise I will ignore your text and if you if you overdo text and call I will I will block you otherwise everybody is welcome to call me but not in a private all right why you want to call me in private anyway I mean are you from my family you know what I mean why somebody want to call me in private here we have a topic and if you want to call me you have to call me about the topic if you are not willing to speak in public I'm not interested in your conversation what is the name of the Arab people in the Quran quote the verse please okay this is ultimate fart himself he's talking now <laughs> what the name of the Arab people in the Quran just to show you how stupid what you 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 know he repeat the same question the same the same guy he repeat the same question hmm. and he say no all right chapter 9 verse number 97 do you see it you idiot this is your translation who are they the wandering Arab, what does that mean? They are Bedouin. Al Arab. Where in the Quran it says those all people? Show me the verse. Show me. Here we go. It's in front of you. This is why I don't waste my time with the same people. They call me, they ask the same question, the same question, and we show it to them. No, where it says that in the Quran, show me. It's in front of you. Where in the Quran it says that, show me. It's in the front of you. Which translation you like me to show you? This translation of who? Let us see which donkey. This is Big Tal. Which the translation you like? Hmm? Which one you like? Which one? I would do it just the one you like it. Which one? Just pick up one. Hello? What was his name? The one is asking? Which translation you like? Just choose one. The best work for you, which one? And this is why I call him ultimate fart. Not only he fart, but he fart silently. He don't even have a noise. <laughs> Same question. He come. He's I spank him. I get him busted. He came back. Answer the question, please. Said the Arab people. I don't see Bedouin. Ah, it says wandering. Arab, you idiot. Do you know what wandering Arab mean? Mean Bedouin. Here we go. This is Hilali and Khan. It says what? Bedouin. So either you say Bedouin or you say, which is actually more accurate to say the wandering Arab, because Bedouin, uh, you know, yeah, they are the Arab and they are in the tent. But wondering is explained it more because it says that they are not fixed in a house. They keep moving around. Those are the real Arab. Do you see it? This is your Muslim translation. Which translation you like? Here you go. This is Hilali and Khan. Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. Let us see the different one. Just to make you happy. No, 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 no. Come to daddy. Ahmad Ali. Let us see what Ahmad Ali. Maybe Ahmad Ali, uh, the village Arab. <laughs> <laughs> the village Arab. This guy is in. <laughs> the village Arab. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, let's see the front one. Uh, we can go over them one by one. Uh, let us see. Arbari. Oh, hold on. Let's choose Muslims. Ahmad Raza Khan. The ignorant. <laughs> the word Arab became the ignorant. I, I agree. <laughs> Guys, look what they translate the word Arab. The ignorant. He translated the word the Arab, the ignorant. I agree. <laughs> I mean, who is ignorant more than this? <laughs> Let us see a yeah, famous one, Yusuf Ali. Where is Yusuf Ali? Unbelievable. The Arab of the desert, I mean, look at the translation change. The Arab of the desert, who is the Arab of the desert? The Arab of the desert, the Arab of the desert. <laughs> I mean, 
they, they keep coming with the same question, repeat, and supposedly he have something. Some of the desert Arab look onto their, uh, sorry, they are the desert Arab, what does that mean? Well, what does that mean? It's mean people who move, move around in the desert, they are people who move with their tent, Arab. And my friend, we can show you that dictionary too. I mean, I feel sorry for you because we have something in Arabic, it's called dictionary. Have you ever heard of the word dictionary? Or you never heard of it? Stupidity is amazing. <clears throat> anyway, sorry guys, I, I went back live again because I thought somebody he needed my help. Uh, you know, this person is really in pain. But it looked like it was a female trying to contact me many times and I did not allow her to call me. And here we go, the drama come. Uh, you repeat the same topic. Uh, you have nothing really to say. Uh, your writing is very poor. Uh, you know, okay, complain why you are here. I mean, why you are here? There's millions of videos in YouTube. Why you are here? I mean, do you see the mental illness? Just because you refuse to receive a call from this female, I don't talk in private. You want to call me, you call me live on air. I have nothing to share with you in private. And then all the drama. Why you are here? If, if the education is poor, if this guy, he have nothing to teach, if he cannot support what he say, if he, wherever he is, why you are here? Obviously, you have mental illness. I mean, he is all of those things. And yet you keep coming back. You know what I mean? And not only that, they, you know, they, they, she is calculating how many people they donate for me. My friend in Patreon, 90% of those who subscribe, they are from Indonesia or India, and they cannot donate. The one who can donate from Indonesia, they have to ask a friend if they knew somebody who live in USA, etc. most of the cases, and then they can make a donation. So the number you see there about people who they uh, support me, those people who like what I do, but not necessarily they are donating for me. And why you are jealous about how many people donate for me? I mean, what's wrong with those people? <laughs> Can you talk about uh, Sia? Shia, you mean? And you see a country beside Iran? Shia. Well, you know, Shia, there is many sects. Shia is not one sect. But the most famous one is the Ithna Asharia, which means the 12 Imams. Um, the, the biggest one is Iran, and then there is Iraq, and then there's a lot of Shia in Af Afghanistan. Uh, there's Shia... Uh, there's, there's other kind of Shia, but they are considered Shia. Like as an example, um, Al Houthi in Yemen, um, the Alawi in Syria, the Alawi in uh, uh, in Turkey. But they are not really Shia, as you know. I mean, they are very close. Yeah. <sighs> It's very hard to make people satisfied with you. I mean, even God, he could not do it. I mean, people, they did not like what God said, right? So for me, uh, but I thought it's a Muslim. That's why I get excited. You know, I said, oh, bingo, we got a Muslim. It turned not to be a Muslim. It turned somebody just uh, upset for I'm not talking to her. You know? I talk only to, uh, to, to the ones who look like me. Scary. Are you scary? If you are scary, I will talk to you. If you are not, sorry. Right? Uh, thank you, my friend. Uh, 
Yeah, child of God, why you are making donation? Now she will be upset, this woman. <laughs> no, no, I'm not seeking pleasing anyone, my friend. I, I seek only to please my Lord. The rest is not really my intention. And actually, I, I make many people upset because many they want to call me. If I open my Skype, there's thousands of people they are trying to contact me, but I cannot answer everybody. I mean, I have a life, you know, I'm, I'm going to spend my, I can't spend the, I cannot even, even if I decide to answer everybody who contact me in Skype, maybe a week is not enough. Many people, they like asking questions. Uh, Hi, CP, are you there? Are you there, you CP? I mean, as, I appreciate all those people. You know, I know there's many people, they love me. They, 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 they want to talk to me. But sadly, I'm just a person. I am not many. I cannot really answer. So that's why I say, call me when I am live, only when you are a Muslim. Or I give, we make a, like once a week where Christian can call me because, you know, uh, uh, you guys, you requested that. So I decided, okay, we will take calls in the weekend from the Christians. Otherwise, I always say only Muslims because, not because I don't care for the Christians. Actually, because I care for the Christians, I accept Muslims to call me. Because I want the Christians and the Muslims to hear to see the other side of the story, that Islam really is stupid. And if me I'm just talking by myself, and I'm not receiving calls from Muslims, you should ask yourself two questions. First of all, how we know that he is telling the truth? What about we they see a debate, real debate, somebody calling him, you know? Secondly, uh, we give the Muslim the chance to defend. Either this defense, defense will fail or will succeed, right? yeah <clears throat> but you know sadly I have to say it there is some ladies if you if you don't want to talk I don't talk in private you know uh, uh, the last time I spoke to somebody from Indonesia it was a lady and the, le the reason I talked to her because she could not make a donation so she wanted to talk to me how to make a donation she asked a friend and she want to be sure that the friend he made the donation uh, if he deposit or not please send me etc this is otherwise i don't talk you know uh i have nothing i mean if you are not from my family why you want to call me in private and if you have something to share in public share it otherwise nice to meet you you know yeah No, I sleep like everybody, but I get excited because I thought it's a Muslim who made this comment. I just delete the comment because it's stupid. But I thought the one who made the comment is a Muslim. That's why I did not delete it. But then after I noticed that this is a female, number one, and it's not a Muslim, then forget about it. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, uh, there is there is some people they have a, literally they have mental issues. Uh, I remember once there was a lady she opened a room in chat a chat room in uh, in Palto. The, the every day she have a new title for her chat room, like today, Christian Prince, who you think you are? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, second day, why Christian Prince? He think Christian Prince he think he is some something uh, big. Why Christian friends don't talk to us? Every day, every day, every day. So one day I decide, I said, guys, okay, let's go to her room and see what the problem. Why this woman, she keep making a chat room. I have my name. Let's see what's the problem. She said, yes, I wanted to talk to you and you don't want to talk to me. So we'll keep opening a chat room against you until you talk to me. <laughs> I said, okay, <laughs> have fun. <laughs> What I can do, I mean, <laughs> and people were laughing. I mean, I mean, it's really hilarious. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it's internet. You don't know you are talking to who, right? And some people need help, but sometimes it's really funny. And I don't want, I don't want to hurt the fear of anyone. But it's funny. I mean, it's funny and it's crazy. 
And why you want to talk to me? You see, there is there is a problem. Some people because like somebody became let us say very well known. Suddenly everybody want to talk to him. And here you need to ask yourself a question. Let us say a lady she is interested in you. Why she is interested in you only when you are famous? Why nobody is interested in you when you are no one? You know what I mean? Why, if you are no one, normal person, I mean, like everybody, those they don't want to talk to you. Like even you go, like, you, you, you see like some ladies, they see an actor. They go crazy. They want to take selfie with him, etc. Okay, why, why? Just because he's famous. Otherwise, he must be really a bad person. You know what I mean? So, you know, high, you know, you should be higher than this. If you are going to be interested in a person, you should be interested of him who you know him. What do you know about me? Nothing. Maybe this person is good. Maybe is bad. Maybe is not good for you. So some they have interest, but it, the the real interest really is not in you as a person. Is you as a name. And I understand that. Here we go. Somebody is flirting with me live on air. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> when your Quran will be published, my friend, I don't have time, honestly. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Uh, Aba, Abara uh, Kabara saying, All Bedouin are Arab. You see, just to show you how stupid you are, Abara. The word Arab, the word Arab mean desert. Arabia is a desert, it's not a name of people. It's a desert. This is an Aramaic word. So whoever live in the desert, they call them the Arab, which means the people who live in the desert. So you are a certified idiot again. And yes, all the Arab are Bedouin. All the Arab are Bedouin. This is why they are tribe. What is what is Muhammad family? The tribe of Quraysh. Why they are tribe? Because they are Bedouin. Civil people don't have a tribe. They don't. So they have a tribe for they are Bedouin. And they, because they are Bedouin, what the Bedouin do? Bedouin usually they move around, but not all Bedouin they do that. Some they were able to find like a spring of water where there is some source of life there, so they fix themselves and they build houses, but still they are people of the desert. So, yes, all the Arab are Bedouin. All of them. This is their origin. And then by time, some of them they settle down. Like now you will find uh, a lot of Arab live in Baghdad, but Baghdad is a city. But the reality is that those Arab when they came or the first waves of Arab who came, they are the Bedouin. And still they are called Arab. You know? So Arab is an Aramaic word. You know, Aram, Aram is a word mean high, uh, high hills. Arab mean desert. So as simple as that, whoever live in the desert, they call them Arab. So if you are living in Las Vegas, they call you Arab, the Aramaic. And Arab mean two things actually, not only desert people, it means savage, you know. So they are Arab who they are Bedouin, who they don't take a shower, who they etc. 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 This is the Aramaic uh, language. Aramaic word. All the all the Arabic is coming from Aramaic anyway. All the Arabic, I and mean, most of that, like the Quran, originally is not really there's nothing that's called Arabic. Everything you see in front of you, and most of the Hebrew actually, is coming from the Aramaic language. Like when you pray, what do you say? The Muslim, they say, Amin. The Christian, they say, Amin. The, the Jews, they say, Amin. But Amin is an Aramaic word. You know that? The word Europe is Aramaic. The word Africa is Aramaic. I mean, everything around you is Aramaic, actually. The numbers you use is Aramaic. They, they, they lie to you. They say that the, the Arabic letters is the English letters. This is not, not, not true. Those are the Aramaic. The, I mean, the, the, the numbers. The Aramaic numbers are letters, and they are alphabet in the same time. Uh, 
may speak together right now maybe tomorrow tomorrow is uh, saturday if i go live so we can take uh, you know uh was not talking about the arabs so bedouin is arab okay this is just to show you how stupid you are okay why uh, mr abra uh, ultimate fort have you ever heard of something called dictionary have you ever heard of something called dictionary so if we go right now to the dictionary is that okay with you your majesty is that fine or you will you will be upset <clears throat> is that okay I hope you will you will accept your majesty well this is the dictionary al ma'ani i'm going to post the, the link you know this is the word here we go arab this is your islamic dictionary arab of the desert bedouin nomads bedouin desert dwellers uh, nomadic arab do you see it this is the dictionary so my friend you keep calling me a liar a stupid even your dictionary if i can call it your dictionary because obviously you are a goat and you have no dictionary you have some grass to eat you keep repeating yourself like a donkey like a mule and you don't want to go why you don't go and copy the word in arabic paste it in the dictionary <laughs> we'll take you to we'll take you 30 seconds <laughs> we'll take you only two seconds just copy the word. I know you don't know Arabic. You are a dog. And the funny, you do not know Arabic. The funny, this idiot, you do not know Arabic. Like, at least if you are an Arab and you, you don't know Arabic. Here we go. This is the word in Arabic as it is in the Quran. Here we go. You see it? As it is in the Quran. Do you see why sometimes I, I block those people? Because it's like talking to 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 a goat. I I say, uh, how are you? Is a man. How are you, man? That's it. It's a man. So why why I'm going to waste my time? So one more time, you post repeating your stupidity. I'm going to block you. Because you know I'm not going to waste my time repeating the same thing. And you can go even to the interpretation. Do you want to go to interpretation, Abdul? What interpretation you like, Your Majesty? <laughs> Why you cannot answer a simple question? Are you Arab or Bedouin? You, you see how stupid you are? There is nothing is called Arab. Arab are people in the desert, which means today they call me Arab, but in fact I'm not, because simply I don't live in the desert no more. <laughs> Arab are not even people of ethnic. Arab is anyone live in Arabia, which is the desert. Arabia is a word mean desert. Like they say to you, Arabian desert. But in fact, the word Arabia itself is a word mean desert. But they are ignorant. They do not know that this is an Aramaic word. So are you a Bedouin or an Arab? It's the same, you idiot donkey. And why you are not answering the question? Is that your dictionary or my dictionary? You know, uh, uh, when a Muslim he repeat the same question, is that a sign of something? And he claimed I did not answer him. Okay, Mr. Uh, what's your name? What interpretation you like me to show you for the verse? Guys, is that fair? What interpretation you like me to show you? The word it says Arab. Okay, Arab doesn't sound like Arab, right? <laughs> Even the word is clear. <laughs> Remember when the Arab who called and cut you in Yujadilun? then you hang up on him okay now sir why you don't call me and tell me about you i don't know what is that, that you are talking about 
Do you like to call me and tell me about your jadilun? Mr. Nasser, do you like to call me and tell me about your jadilun? Nasser? So you can refresh my memory and we can record it and publish it in YouTube? Do you want to do that? Mr. Nasser? As long as you say they got me busted, I mean, you can get me busted too. It's easy. Are you there, Nasser? Or mommy did not allow you? You don't have a Skype? Ah. Well, my friend, I don't think you don't have a Skype. I think you don't have a private part. You are not man enough to call me. I mean, you are in the internet, you have internet, and you don't have a Skype. It's for free. As if you are saying to me, I need to buy a car. It's a stupid Skype. You can download it in two seconds. Hmm? I mean, how, how stupid you are to say I don't have a Skype. It's for free. But the problem is you don't have a courage. You are a potato. And you know you will get busted. And the funny they say, uh, uh, the comment they say, that I am debating people who they are uneducated. For sure I'm debating. I never saw a Muslim is educated. Like who? Muhammad? The one who said that uh, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Is Muhammad... Ex Skype is outdated? No, my friend, it is you who is outdated. And here we go. I'm going to block you until you get update yourself. And now you go and say, Christian Prince, uh, he uh, he's scared of me. I challenge you to call me a coward, and you say, I don't have it. Okay, outdated. All of you are outdated. Your God is outdated. Muhammad outdated. Everything is outdated. <clears throat> And look how funny, the previous video we showed you, full of stupid things Muhammad he said, and Muslims have no answer for it. The only problem for them is the Arab is the Bedouin. <laughs> this is the problem. In a day. Hmm? And then he challenged me to find the quotation. And he said he will apologize if I can find it. Yeah. Stupidity is amazing. All right, let me log off of Skype. See the cowards? They made me excited. I said to myself, we got a potato. It turned to be a, a diarrhea. There we go, log off. Honestly, like I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested to come back. But when you see those people want to challenge you, etc., I said, okay, finally, we got something to fry. You know, and always a Christian prince, you are wrong. You are wrong and you are lying. Brother, uh, like you are quoting scholars with their false opinion. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid statement like this? How you call them scholars and they have false opinion? So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> no, sometimes we answer because it's uh, it's fun. It's fun. Now, who is a Muslim? He wanna hear? Tell me if this is a true story or not. Is it true that when Shaitan, when you yawn, Shaitan he jump in your mouth? Who is a smart Muslim agree with his prophet? Forget about Christian Prince. Christian Prince, you do not know what he's talking about. Here we go. This is Sahih. Is that Sahih? Yes, brother. It's Sahih. Here we go. You see? It's Sahih. Who is a Muslim? He is a proud about his prophet. You see, the Muslims, in order to avoid the disaster in their books, they try to make to talk about you. As if I am the prophet. They make the topic you. Christian Prince is a liar. Christian Prince is a liar. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Forget about Christian Prince. He's a liar or that. Okay, is this hadith, is it true? Or your prophet is lying?
Any Muslim want to answer? Forget about Christian prayers. Or this is the only way you can talk. You change the topic to make it about Christian prayers to avoid your prophet from being spanked. Who is a Muslim? He agree with his prophet. You're a smart, you're a genius, educated prophet. Yeah, and now if I say that shaitan sleep in your nose, Muslim, they will say you are a liar. The prophet says that, they will say this is true. Let's just tell them who said that. If I am the one who say, shaitan sleep in your nose, piss in your ears. Liar, liar. Okay, the prophet says so. True, this is true. There is a video of Mimi Hijab they were talking about shaitan, he play with your anus. He agree with it. He agree with it, brother. He says, those are the unseen, we do not know them. The prophet told us about them. We agree about it. Imagine the hadith, the one it says, each time a Muslim he want to pray, shaitan, he come from his back and he take care from his anus. You know, it's late. And I hope nobody from the Muhammadan will be tempted by my drawing. Okay, this is you praying. And this is your bum. And Shaitan and you have hair here. And Shaitan, he come from your back. This is Mr. Shaitan. He extend his hand and he put his foot in your bum. And he push the hair out by his hand. And he will not stop doing that until he take the hair out and he make you fart. I mean, isn't it Muhammad is an amazing person? Telling the truth. Okay, if Shaitan he take at least five hair a day, how many hair left is in the anus of Mimi Hijab? And how many times he fought a day? It must be true. Based on Muhammad's story, you must have to be bold there. I mean, the guy, you spend your life praying five times a day. By the age of 20, you will have no hair at, at, at all because shaitan, he will not leave anything. At least one hair he will take. Actually, he will not only take hair, he will not stop until you fart so he can destroy your prayer. Isn't it? This is amazing. I mean, the prophet, he knew he's talking about, man. This guy is professional, we have to admit. You know, I, I apologize that I'm not in the mood of a drawing, otherwise we can make it nicer. You know? <clears throat> or look at this. You are yawning. Okay? You are yawning. I'm very good in drawing, brother. What the heck is that? Don't ask me. <laughs> what, what, what is this? Is that a human, supposedly? <laughs> Hold on. What kind of a human this a human is? Hold on, let us do it different. Ah, this is better, this is better, getting better. Look at this mouth. I will make him yawning. What I can do? I mean, now, brother, you are yawning. You are yawning. Okay, brother? Now, shaitan, brother, is waiting, and he will jump in your mouth. And he sit in your opening and he starts saying, ha, 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 
This is this is a prophet is talking. And the funny, the person who left a comment, this lady, she said, "You talk only to uneducated people." Well, if they are educated, they will not believe in this anyway. I agree with you. How how a person is educated, he will believe in such a garbage that when you yawn, shaitan, he jump in your mouth and he laugh at you. Here we go. Is that me saying that? This is the hadith is sahih, which means very authentic. Nobody can deny it. Shaitan laugh from inside his opening. What is that? Not his anus, huh? This is his mouth. Because uh, they don't yawn in their anus. They yawn, yawn in their opening mouth. Science. I mean, who can deny this? But look what the Muslim they will do. They will not answer the stupidity. They will make it about Christian Prince. Christian Prince is a liar. We can get him busted. The word Arab does not make Arab. Does not mean uh, Bedouin. No. This is what is important for them. Hmm. And Allah, He loves those who do sneezing, which means Allah, He loves those in who they are having Corona right now. You have Corona, Allah is so happy because you are sneezing, flu, and fever. For Allah, is Corona, and now is uh, Allah is like enjoying His time now. He opened the window. He watched people in China dying from uh, you know this disease, and he is happy. Just don't yawn. If you yawn, Allah is upset, and we know the reason. Hmm? Okay, uh, I don't know. I should not stay long, really. Honestly, I have my my shoulder hurt. I was playing kung fu, and uh, by the way. The person, the person who made the comment says, Christian play Kung Fu? What's wrong with Kung Fu? It's Haram too? If you play Kung Fu, it's Haram? Okay, I commit sin now. <laughs> you know, obviously people, they have no idea what your Christianity is teaching. Christianity does not teach you. Like they, they, you know, there's many people, they quote for you that Jesus says, if somebody, uh, you know, stab you in your right cheek, give him the other one. This is not about people are allowed to beat you, my friend. This is about use the law. Use the law. Like, <clears throat> until now, there's law. Um, every country have its own rules. So, in certain time, if two people are, two men, they want to fight, challenge each other. Oh, what they need, they bring witnesses. And then there's one die and one live, and there's no crime committed. So, each time have a law. At that time, there was a law where if you hit a man in certain location in his face or side, you go to jail. So what Christ is saying to them, be a citizen, not an idiot. Be civil. If he is an idiot, you want to use violent you live in a country and the country have police have a court this is a roman empire they have court they have police they have army uh, they have judges you know you don't take your right by your hand otherwise you will be in trouble like right now if somebody did something wrong to me even if he is the one who did it and then i go after him and i kill him etc i will go to jail doesn't matter what he did because you commit a crime according to the law. So what Christ is saying that you do follow the law and you became, you know, be a smart person, don't be evil, don't do what they do. As simple as that. Otherwise, Christ, he said himself, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. They said we have two. He said that's enough. Enough for what? To protect themselves. But not to be evil. Isn't it Peter? He took his sword. So why Peter is carrying his sword? So we Christians, we are allowed to defend ourselves absolutely. And this is the right given to us by God, to every human being, not all the Christians. Right? Uh, this guy, Jack Sparrow, Jack Sparrow, he, he want to debate me only if he do it face to face. Huh. The problem is, uh, he is a sparrow. So how I can put my face next to your face? I wonder. Yeah. By the way, as long as your name is Jack Sparrow, my, my friend, 
I want to ask you, Jack Sparrow in his movie, he spoke about the fountain of youth. So what do you think about your prophet teach that there is a fountain of youth? Are you there, Mary Jack Sparrow? Hmm? Is it true? Do you believe really in the fountain of youth in the Jack Sparrow movie? Look, you have a perfect name. Honestly, I mean, your name is the perfect name. I like it. So what do you think about the fountain of youth in your prophet story? That those people, they found a fountain of youth. Uh, not actually, you know, it's a fountain of life. And whoever touch it or drink from it, he come back to life, brother. Are you there, Jack Sparrow? You know, actually, if I am you, Muslims, I should sue them for using the story of your prophet, putting it in the movie. Hmm? What do you think? Fountain of Youth it must be a true story. Here we go. We just found the hadith. Let us see what your prophet said about it. You choose the perfect name for a perfect topic, my friend. Huh. And then water, water, brother, called ma'ul hayat. Between two bracket translation, water of life. If 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 will be poured on them, and they will and they will spring out like they see the spring out of the bank blah 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 all right okay so what this water called hmm? anything this water touch will come back to life anything is that right Jack Sparrow, are you there? Jack Sparrow is laughing at his prophet. Did you see? Be my witness. He's saying, Lul, Lul, Lul. Huh. He's making fun of his prophet. And this is what I love about what might I do. You know, they laugh at their prophet words. They arrive at the rock. There was water spring called Al Hayat. And none come in touch with its water but became alive when we go i mean who is going to die after now all what we need this water you die you know uh, you ask your wife to put some water in the top of you just a drop of water half a drop of water you will come back like alive again right that's it brother but if you are a Muslim, maybe you should not ask your wife to do that because she might see, uh, save it for uh, the next husband. She might be happy that you are gone. Because Muslim men, they beat their wife, as you know, in the Quran. So I don't think she would be happy to have you back. <clears throat> oh. While you're bragging, why you don't unblock me and call me? No, I don't call you. You know, you are you are a, you are a fool. I'm done with you. Isn't it enough how many recordings I have of you? And look, you are stupid at the point. You are coming with the same question, the same repeated thing. No. Nobody can debate you, my friend, because you are a donkey. Get out of here. I cannot speak to a donkey. This guy will come after two months and he will ask me the same question. I will explain the same explanation and he will come back after two months and he will say the same question. He will say the same thing and he will come back again. This is what he do. I feel sorry for your wife. Honestly, this guy here, the same, the same thing. 
we receive your call first time second time third time four time five time seven time okay and 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 after that people are laughing at you go if you are proud about you calling me download all the videos you call me and put it in your channel so people can laugh we are done I show him what the scholar says in the interpretation he didn't accept it okay so what we would do no he is the, the guy from Nigeria he knew I mean he knew everything like now the word uh, uh, Arab if we show him from Ibn Kathir do he accept Ibn Kathir no he will not because he knew more than Ibn Kathir so nobody can debate you no it's not about he have short memory he have no brain you know some people they I know they like it like this guy Jack Sparrow he come you know he would change like he would say to you Christian Prince he blocked me because always he come and he say the same stupid thing he never call me he never dare but he repeat the same thing now here we go I ask him Jack Sparrow what do you think about your prophet saying there's a water if you touch it you come back to life any answer from Jack Sparrow? No, he's a sparrow. Or is Jack Sparrow, do you know the story of the sparrow who died because his girlfriend, uh, she was, uh, she died too? Told by King Suleiman. Have you ever heard of the story before? <laughs> is that a true story, brother? I mean, look how romantic Muhammad is. Trend them a story told by Prophet Suleiman about a sparrow who died because his girlfriend the sparrow died oh sorry no i forgot no no it's my mistake not his girlfriend the sparrow died i think no the sp I th man I, i'm getting older that's it uh, I, I think what happened i did not read this story forever uh, I think she found she found her sparrow cheating on her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is what happened. And then I think one of them died from sadness, etc. What a story! What a story! So why Muhammad? Then he have 13, 14, 15, 18, 100 women. Why he have all those women? If Muhammad he appreciate that a sparrow will die from a from other sparrow cheating. Hafsa, she found Muhammad sleep, uh, sleeping with his maid, and she said to him, Afi yomi wa fi sariri, in my day and in my bed, you idiot. Muslim, they will say, look what Muslim will focus now. They will say, Christian Prince, where it says idiot. <laughs> it doesn't say idiot. Yeah, it doesn't say idiot, but obviously he is. <laughs> they will focus now in the word idiot. Christian Prince, he did lie. She did not say to him, idiot. Christian Prince, I challenge you to show me where she said to him, idiot. But my friend, I was there. Show me where it says the word idiot. Uh, uh, but 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 the problem now, your prophet was sleeping with the women in the bed of his wife. This is the problem. Show me where it says the word idiot. <clears throat> uh, jihadist intercession after death. <sighs> intercession is a big topic not only about jihadists because it is a contradiction if you have my books you will see that muhammad said in the quran nobody can intercede to anyone and then in different story he said he is the only one who can intercede and then in different so story he says uh, somebody he died in jihad he can interest so this guy is a mentally ill but in order to cover all the stories this needs a lot of time Yeah, what is the word idiot? You know, you know what they remind me, those people who they try to challenge me supposedly, challenge me talking to themselves. They remind me of the Pink Panther when he said the word idiot. They get him a woman to teach him how to say hamburger. The Muslim, they say, Christian Prince, how you say uh, 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 narrated? <laughs> Bread net? <laughs> This is the problem with the Christian Prince is not the stupidity of their prophet is Christian Prince he is saying narrated Christian Prince is saying bread net. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not the flying flying carpet. It's not the fountain of uh, uh, youth. It's not uh, shaitan will jump in your mouth. No. Christian prince, he doesn't speak good English, brother. <laughs> you know, uh, just to let you know, I think if I change my accent, I might lose some interest of many people. Many people like my accent. They love it. You know? Actually, wherever I go, they say, you have a nice accent. We like it. <laughs> so you try to focus on me because you cannot answer the stupid in your in your book. Christian Prince, he speak Arabic, he don't speak Arabic, he speak English, he don't speak English. You follow a prophet, he cannot even know his name. And yet you want to make fun of me for saying an English word? Everybody knows English is not my first language. I know this is coming. You do not know Arabic, you do not know English. And Elijah means God with us. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> yeah. Always, you know, when you when you fight this cult, they try to make it personal and they try to get your nerve. If you go and see what they do with this, uh, his gentleman, his name, uh, the, uh, the um, apostate prophet. You know, when you fight this cult, you have to have patience. They will try their best to make it personal and to humiliate you. And the whole purpose is, you know, you like you, uh, let us say, um, bring you stress and, you know, like you, you to make you sad, upset. That doesn't work with me. I love. Say whatever you want. Christian Prince is liar. Christian Prince is say who cares? Everybody knows that it's your duty to say what you are saying because you are defending your religion. We understand. Everybody knows that in Islam you are allowed to lie. We understand. Everybody knows that Muslim they pray they play taqiyya, which is protection, you know, lying in the case of war. And Muslim they are in war with everybody. It's not a secret. No. So we understand, and you cannot really make you know, you don't you know, I can get be upset from Christians more than be upset from a Muslim. A Muslim he is just being a Muslim. I mean, what do you expect? Uh, <clears throat> no, actually, um, uh, my English, which is supposedly not good, is a credit for me, isn't it? Because, look, somebody, he don't have a good English skills, yet he can do what he did making thousands and thousands of Muslims leave Islam. So what if his English is good? If his English is not good and he did this. Correct? They say to you, Christian Prince is a coward. Okay, hold on. Who is the coward? A Muslim who go to speaker corner in a, in a country where nobody go after Muslim to kill them if they say something against Christianity. Or the one who speak about a cult. And the punishment for insulting the prophet of that cult is death. And there's millions that would love to kill you. Who is the, who is the brave? The one who wear a jeans, go to speaker corner. He wear a pink t-shirt like Mimi Hijab. Where there's no threat and nobody will kill him. And nobody or somebody speak about the filthy Muhammad. And every one of us knows how dangerous is cult. Who is the brave? Right? We knew who was the brave. If you in the Muslim, they say Christian Prince is a keyboard warrior. Well, Jesus, he's told me, go and teach and preach. So in the old days, we used to go because we cannot reach to people. Now I can reach all the way to Indonesia from my home. Actually, right now, if I go in the street, who's going to listen to me? The, the, they will call the police. They will arrest me because I'm disturbing the peace. <laughs> you know, it is it is 2 a.m. in the morning. Right? So, <laughs> uh, go and teach. This, this is what the Lord, he told me. 
in the old days you go by walking now uh, you know this is how a Christian warrior is we don't go and kill and fight and kill people and force them to convert you as a Muslim you've been forced to go and do jihad actually your prophet said that the weakest of faith is the one who uses his tongue only al iman if you don't believe me I can show you the reference do you see it in a second we can get the reference the weakest of faith is the one who just used by his mouth actually even mouth they don't use it let us see read I heard messenger of Allah saying who is ever of you see evil evil what evil is me speaking about Islam is evil let him change it with his hand you see kill him and if he's not able to do so let him change it with his tongue and if he's not able to do so with his heart so those Abdul they go to England they take an oath to take a citizenship but in the oath it says he will be faithful to the Queen of England but this is haram in Islam so he used what he used this he cannot change it by his hand he cannot change it by his mouth he can only do it by his heart and this is the weakest of faith do you see it a real Muslim is the one who changed it by his hand then if he is weaker in his faith he do it by his tongue then if he is weaker eh, just shut up Anyway, uh, man, uh, you see the shoulder pain is really hurt. You know, it's not easy, guys. I will tell you what happened. Why I have pain in my shoulder? I was walking down street and I found ten genie, and like the ten genie, they challenged me. Christian Prince, we are Muslim genies. Like ching ha, you know, they want to play karaoke with me. And then I remembered that I have, uh, you know, there's a there is something in Karake world. It's called the green belt, not the black belt. This is higher, okay? This you did not hear about it because only us Arab we have that belt. So brother, we start fighting with the genie, and then uh, the genie, I they when they attack me, they are many brother. So I start reciting the Quran, and suddenly when they heard the Quran, they decide to convert to Islam. Isn't it this a story? Your prophet said in the in, the, in his, in his uh, that he was going. He found a bunch of genie. He recited the Quran for them, and the genie they believe in Allah. I mean, do you have witnesses? No. Anybody saw you? No. Muhammad then he took his companion and he showed them where the fire was. They have a fire, brother. So why my story is hard to believe and the story of Muhammad? I want to know. I feel so upset, really. Why my story is hard to believe? <laughs> I mean, this guy always things happen to him. Nobody there. Nobody. It's, I'm not really tired, but I have pain in my shoulder. I told you, I, I did a really, really, I know, uh, like a. A wrong move you know you have to be careful when you do that kung fu stuff you know yeah I have a, a bad pain in my shoulder it's getting better you know God is good <clears throat> yeah it was hurting really I mean that's uh, you know human being is very easy to break man you see human being is is so proud about himself until he got let us say sick or something wrong happened to his body and then he will notice how weak he is little tiny move you do it wrong it can be really very painful 
Do you have? No, I am very healthy. Thank God. I don't have any illness. I don't go and see doctors. I don't go and etc. You know, like uh, if I suspect something and it became really worrying, then I go to see a doctor. But this is unusual to happen. And if I go, never went, and it turned to be anything. I am very healthy. God is good, my friend. I don't really get sick easy. I don't remember when last time I get sick, but I mean, if I get sick, it may be like a flu, you know, sneezing, which Allah he like very much. But thank you, Lord. I'm, you know, I'm in a good health. I will convert to Islam for sure. I will convert to Islam, you know. Yeah, because I want to get the the, the water. The fountain of youth. Don't you want to get the fountain of youth, one God? By the way, your your name is one God. How you how you say that you have one God? How you how you count God? Your God is one God. There's two gods. If if there is only one God, why you are saying one God? One what? One God. Okay, where is God number two? And as long as you have one God. My friend, why your God, he keeps saying things which does not make sense, speaking about himself. As an example, if Allah is the one is talking in the Quran, why Allah say in the name of Allah? Have you ever, uh, did you watch Trump today? Trump, he made a speech. I was hoping that Trump, he will say in the name of a Trump. So everybody will die laughing. So if your God Allah is one Allah, why Allah he say in the name of Allah? Are you there, Mr. One God? So your God is one God, he say in the name of Allah? What is your explanation for this? Clearly Allah, one God, no others. Okay, clearly, it's clearly, here we go. you see, because it's clearly, I'm asking you, if Allah is the only one God, why he say in the name of Allah? Are you with me, my friend? You see, I'm using your logic, clearly, it's very clear. Okay, if he is the only God, why he say in the name of Allah? Who's talking here? Allah speaking, saying in the name of Allah. So like Christian Prince is going to talk now, you say in the name of Christian Prince. But people will laugh at me if I say that. Hmm? Okay, you have no answer for this one. I will give you another one, which is easier for you. You are a genius. What do you think about this? Chapter 66, verse number 5. It may be, okay, hold on. You see, translation is not accurate. It may be what? What translation, by the way, you like before we go? What translation you like? It says, Asa Rabbuhu. It may be his Lord. Who is talking? How Allah is the one who is talking? He says, It may be his God. Who, who's talking? What happened to this website? I cannot open the, the, the banner. I click. Eh? All right. Who's talking now, one God? Maybe his Lord. It may happen that his Lord. I mean, look at the translation. Who's, who's talking? How Allah, he says, it may be Allah. I'm showing you Quran, my, my friend. Guys, am I showing Quran or I'm showing uh, uh, Mickey Mouse? Asa Rabbuhu, Asa Rabbahu, perhaps his God. Okay, who's talking? Who's talking?
Okay, forget about this. It's very difficult for you because you did not take your lunch yet. I understand. It's all right. How many creators there is one God? How many creators you Muslims believe is exist? I know, I know. You will say only one. Okay, so why the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators? Are you there? I mean, obvious Allah is one God, but yet he says he is the best of the creators. You know, uh, one God, um, I will tell you a true story about that. Once I went to my mother at the end of the year and I told her the good news. I told her I was number one in my classroom. My mom was so happy. Hey, she called the neighbor. She called the uncles. I have like 90 uncles. You know, start calling. The whole day she's calling. And then the teacher, he come to visit us at home. And she told him, I'm so glad that my son, he is the he is number one in the classroom. The teacher, he said, but he is the only student there. Are you with me? God is one. So if I am the only student in the classroom, how I am number one? I am the best of the creators. Are you with me? One God, are you there, my friend? Because in order to be the best of the creators, there must be many creators. So Allah, the best of who? Can you count for me the names of the creators? No, honestly, I have a lot of uncles, and I'm not joking. When I was, and I'm not going to say what age I was at that time, we have, I have at that time, 96 cousins over the age of 18. I'm serious. So I'm not, this is, this is a true story now. <laughs> now forget about this. So are you there, Mr. God is one? Is Allah the best of the creators? Who are they, the creators? Because either he is a creator and that make Allah truthful, saying the truth. He is the best between them. Or there's no creators and that will make Allah a fraud. Because when you say, I am the best student in the classroom, but there is only one student, which is you, you are lying. What do you think, my friend? Oh, one God is upset from me now. Hold on. He's upset. What do you think? You want to leave Islam one God? I mean, you know, one God, let me ask you. A very Forget about all of this. Just like, you know, just before you leave. I want to show you something. And I want you to think about it when you go to bed. The Muhammadan, they claim that the Kaaba is the chosen house of Allah and Allah, he chose the location. Okay, brother. So why Allah, he chose the Kaaba in a place where it's always be flooded with poo, -poo? <clears throat> What do you think, brother? What the problem? What is the problem? This is the house of Allah. The Muslim, they have videos. They found that the Kaaba in the center of the earth, center of the earth, why the earth is flat? Golden ratio, shesho, fesho, mesho, shashesho, shashesho. Look at this. Okay, Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba. Can't he find a better location where the flood will not cover it with poo-poo? You know what? Forget about the location. Okay, the location is wrong. Can't Allah use his finger to lift up the Kaaba a little bit so the flood will not go there? Okay, hold on. Forget about this. Can't Allah put his finger in the ground, make a hole to suck all the water? Okay, forget about his putting finger in the water to suck. Can't Allah drink the water? 
<laughs> What's wrong with this Kaaba? So Allah, he chose it. Okay, imagine you hire an engineering company, brother, and you tell them to choose the best location for your house. And then you find that this location is going to be flooded by Pupu every year. Thank you, my friend, Re guy. Are you there a good a good man? I mean, obviously, the Kaaba is the house of Allah. Look at this, free water. You swim. You know, what is missing is to have those like, uh, what they call them, like those, uh, they have shape like turtle, etc. You you put air in it, <laughs> and then you swim in the top of it, like flying, like those beds, you know, and have some tea around the Kaaba, you know. That's fun. So this is the house of Allah. From all the earth, he could not choose a point to build his house except a place where it's going to be flooded by Pupu. Hmm? Holy Kaaba. Why you are making all this? I'm showing you the pictures, my friend. Guys, I'm making all this. Look at this. I'm making all this. I'm really upset from you, Mr. God is one. How I'm making all of this? Ah, making me sad about my religion. Okay, that's a good news, one God. So, one God, are you saying to me you decide to leave Islam, my friend? Did you decide to leave Islam? Looks like it did not take me long. Guys, look what one God he said. Why you make all this? Why you making all this? What wrong with you? Why you are making me so sad to my religion? Well, you are sad because I'm telling the truth. Otherwise, if I am not telling the truth, you would not be sad. Thank you very much. I don't want you to be sad. I want you to be happy. So leave Islam and be happy, my friend. How you believe in such a garbage that it is God, I have a house. And this house is flooded and you have a black stone and then the black stone nothing left of it there's seven or eight little tiny rocks can't Allah even protect his stone a smear my mind became sick why my friend why my brain became sick did I advise you to drink camel urine is that why you think my mind became sick why you don't answer me, Mr. Uh, Amir? As um, Amir, yeah, Amir. Why Allah He chose the Kaaba in the wrong place, brother? Are you there, Amir? I mean, this is the holy house of Allah, and then they have to ask the American and the American the same engineers and the American they cannot enter the Kaaba so the American they make a plan and they send engineers from Islamic countries who have good experience to do the project of the American so that sewage will not cover the Kaaba what out of this can't Allah he make the Kaaba located in a high point Few hundred meter away, less than less than two hundred meter away, the the ground is high. Can't Allah just move the cab a little bit? Move it. Did you hear the song? It's called "You, you Got to Move It, Move It." Sing it to Allah. You know the song. It says, "You got to move it, move it. You got to move it, move it, move it." You know, and then Allah he move it. Maybe it's going to work. So instead of being upset from me for showing you the Kaaba is covered by water, which is really true, a true, a true picture, you know, uh, I mean, ask yourself why Allah allows such a thing to happen to his house. Did you notice just uh, a few months ago where the uh, mosquitoes, whatever, insect, they, are, they attack the Kaaba? But isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he sent his penalty by sending those uh, insects? Allah is punishing himself. He sent it to his house. That's weird. That I'm, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go to Kaaba because I'm thinking really to convert to Islam. 
I like the black stone. All my life, I wanted to kiss black stones. You know? Uh, last time I went to Europe, uh, I went to the passport, uh, uh, like uh, the customs, they told me go there. I went there, and there is a, uh, the guy is sitting behind the counter, but brother, the counter was black stone. And then I could not hold myself. I start kissing it. The custom guy, he said, what are you doing, man? Give me your passport. I said, no, let me kiss the stone. They did not let me get in Europe. They sent me back to Taiwan. I could not resist. It's a black stone. I mean, it's a holy. Brother, it's their fault. Why, why they are having black stone in the counter of the customs? And then I came back a second time, and this time they told me, don't kiss the stone, let him stamp your passport first, and then after that, kiss the stone, this way he cannot let you go back. So I did it. I let him stamp my, uh, he did not stamp my passport, actually he stopped my hand. That was in Jamaica. You know, I told the guy, stamp my passport, he did not listen. Stamp my passport, he did not listen. Then he said, okay, come here, come here. I came there, he said, open your hand, I opened my hand, he stamped my hand. And I was really upset because they did not have a black stone in the airport. Are you there, Azmir? Amir, whatever your name? The funny, you Muslim, you say that those, the, the, the Buddhas are pagan, the Hindu are pagan, and you kiss stones. Mm -hmm. I love you. I want to kiss the stones. I like the stones. And I am not a pagan. I go around the stone. And I bow down in front of a stone. But yet I'm not a pagan. Hindu are pagan. Buddha are pagan. Christians are pagan. Atheists are pagan. All of them are pagan, but yet I am the one who kissed the stone. That's amazing. And so beautiful, so romantic, actually. And what? The stone in a shape of a woman private part, which is making it really interesting. Like, first time when I was a kid, <clears throat> you know, I, I didn't know how this private part looked like. And then in the school, they start teaching us, you know, uh, like how the, the the private part looked like, brother. And I was like, what? This is how the private part of a woman looked like? Like, what? And right away, come to my mind, something interesting. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. The black stone. And since then, I am still single. I don't want to see it. I'm scared. Is that what they have there, really? Like, what? And they put silver around it, too? I mean, do they have a frame? So, it's a private part, and you frame it? Like, what? <laughs> what a stupid cult. <laughs> okay, okay. How many of you hate me? Be honest. I know, you hate me, you hate me. I hate myself too. You know? <clears throat> and the Muslim, they will take this word, say this. He could sometimes say he hate himself. Hmm. <sighs> what a crazy, stupid religion. How many Muslims are going to leave Islam today? Let us see. And the funny, inside the black stone, there's no stones. Do you know that? They call it the black stone, but nothing left. Let me show you, let me show you, brother. Look at this. This is what is left inside the stone. It's little tiny rocks. <clears throat> but 
man, I need to drink something. That's it. So you, because now the stone is gone. Look what left. Look what is. This is literally what is left inside the stone. There's no stone. So how Allah He sent this stone from heaven, and then Allah could not even preserve the stone. And look what we have now. What is that? Somebody was spitting his gum. Is that a stone or a gum? So they have those little tiny things, and they put dark walks around it, and they do maintenance every few days. Uh, Viron saying, Viron, let us see what Viron saying. Viron saying, CP, in fact, I left Islam after listening to you. You know, Viron, I'm going to help you. My friend, you should go back to Islam. Okay, look what happened now. You left Islam, and now, oh, the text is gone. I cannot see it no more. Hold on. Text moved. Where is Viron text? By leaving Islam, my friend Veron, I'm not sure if I'm saying your name correct, uh, you will not get versions. Why? Veron, why? You don't want the versions no more. I mean, do you know what are you really doing? Free versions. Unlimited time. 70 years orgasm. I mean, who can beat that deal? Not seven hours orgasm, 70 years. So I come to visit you first year, you will be having orgasm. I said, okay, I will change and I will come next year. He is having orgasm. I will come after 10 years, he's having orgasm. After 20 years, he's having orgasm. 30 years orgasm. 50 years orgasm. 60 years orgasm, my friend. That's why you leave Islam. You cannot do that, my friend. You cannot do that. Like you look at the door and Zakir Naik is like, ah, what, Zakir, what are you doing? I'm having orgasm. Okay. Okay, Zakir Naik, I'm, come, I'm going to come after six months. Okay. Okay, after six months, he come back. Zakir Naik is still having orgasm. Like, this is amazing religion, brother. Beautiful. It's romantic, realistic, and truthful. Only 70 years for your orgasm. And by the way, it make me upset. I mean, what Allah will lose? Why you don't make it 77? I mean, what's wrong with you, Allah? Only 70 years? Only? Why well, you are being cheap? Make it 100. At least Zakir Naik will be busy for the coming 100 years. would not hear him. He will be in the bedroom having an orgasm. If the orgasm is uh, 70 years, now the sex is how long? Two seconds? Hmm? If the orgasm is 70 years, the sexual relationship itself is how long, brother? It is two seconds like a rabbit? And what's your prophet is talking about? I mean, this is very short. Christianity is it true, but CP is the devil? No problem, you can say whatever you want. And by the way, what do you mean the CP is the devil? Are you saying that your God Allah is a liar? Because your God Allah, he says, the, the devil is a genie, not a human. Secondly, brother, do you know that shaitan, the devil, according to your God, he have a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg, and he want to have sex, he shake his legs? I mean, I never thought about this. How lucky this shaitan. He do not need to go find a wife, sign on a dating website, taking a woman to drink coffee, maybe he'd get married later. No, he have a deer in his legs. In the right leg, he have a penis. In the left leg, he have a vagina. Oh, what he need to do? Like, shake it, shake it. True story. And then at the end of the day, he lay down 10 eggs. Oof. Shaitan is a chicken? You must not believe Shaitan is a chicken or he's, maybe he's a duck. I think he's a duck. Because if you walk like a duck, talk like a duck, he must be a duck. And then from every egg, 
Uh, 70, and here we go, Muhammad is stuck with the number 70. 70 is shaitan and shaitan, which means male shaitan and female shaitan. Look at this. Only the first shaitan, he have a penis and a vagina in the same time, transgender. The second shaitan, this is babies coming from the eggs, they are already male and female. Wisdom, man, wisdom. <sighs> All right. What is one plus one plus one? Uh, are you teaching us mathematics? Uh, well, we Christians don't believe in one plus one plus one. Who is the one and who is the one and who is the one? Are you crazy, brother? But you must not believe in one plus one plus one. In the Quran it says that Jesus is the man, yet he is the word of Allah, yet he is a spirit of Allah. Okay, he is a man or a spirit or a word. One plus one plus one is three. According to you, the Quran says one. Very weird. Hmm. The one God, he left Islam. That's wonderful. Where he said that? I did not see it. Where he said that in the text? Because I was uh, getting attention to uh, uh, Amir. One, uh, one God, did you leave Islam, my friend? Did he say so? I did not see his text. Hmm. No, no, I don't see any text from him. Maybe I did not notice it. Well, if he decide to leave Islam, I'm happy for you, my friend. Glory to the Lord. All right, one God, happy for you, my friend. Well, if you want to call me in Skype, let me know, okay? I will be happy to talk to you. All right, my friend. No, 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 we do not need one plus uh, x1, x1, x1. There's no x, there's no plus. This is all a stupid statement from the, the, I mean, the argument of the Muslims, they come with it. Uh, because simply, if God is God, he can be three and one at the same time. If God cannot be, he cannot be God too. Correct, guys? You see, if their God cannot be a spirit, and the God of Islam is not a spirit, by the way, and he cannot be a man, and he cannot be anything physical or anything he wish. That's mean he cannot be God, because you see, you say Almighty. That's mean he is in control. He can be whatever he wish. So if the Muslim believe that a genie, he can come to you in a shape he wish. So what about Allah? He is God. That's mean genie is more powerful than Allah. Secondly. Muslims, when they talk, they are ignorant. The, the hadith says, according to Muhammad, that Allah, he have many sheep, and he changed his shape, and he ha he is a shin. You know? If we go in the hadith, we will find the following. As you see, this is the hadith coming from Muhammad saying that Allah will come to the Muslims in a shape other than the one they saw first time. And the Muslim, they will cut his bum and they will say to him, you are not Allah. Do you see it? <clears throat> Allah have a face. Allah have a shin. Allah have a foot. All of this is in the stories of Muhammad. Muslims are ignorant and they have they have a denial. Read carefully with me. The Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. Do you see it? Maybe tomorrow, my friend. It's very late right now. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm not going to take calls. Do you see it here? They come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. So when the Muslim they say, 
Okay, so who is God now? Jesus or the Father or the Holy Spirit? I'm, I'm going to ask you the same question. Allah, the first shape, or Allah, the second shape, or Allah, the third shape, which one of them is Allah? See the hypocrisy? So Allah has a physical shape, and he is a physical shape person. At the same time, Allah is not a spirit. That means he's dead, because a spirit is the power of life. Spirit, when we say spirit, obviously Muhammad, he could not define what spirit is. When when the Arab, they ask him, what is the spirit? He said, the spirit is from the command of my God. This is not the question. They're asking you, what is the spirit? <laughs> so if Allah is a spirit, so when he breathed, in the Quran, he say, وَنَفَقْنَا مِنْ رُوحِنَا and we breathe from our spirit or our soul. So if Allah is not a spirit, he have no soul. So he was breathing what? Halogen, oxygen. <laughs> Stupid, he is amazing. Anyway, guys, I'm really getting tired. I know there is like almost 700 people listening. And we just finished the broadcast. What the, the one before it? I mean, I'm not going to keep this video, really. Uh, but we are happy for one God that he decided to leave Islam. And maybe later tomorrow, one God, if you want to call me, or any Muslim want to call me too. Uh, but I would be happy to hear from one God if you like to call me live. And he, uh, you know, he tell us uh, how he decided to make his decision to leave Islam. I will be happy to hear you. All right, one God. And any Muslim, he would like to call me maybe tomorrow. Actually, which means today already we are. I don't know if I'm come, going to come back again today. We will see. If not, then Sunday. All right, guys. So I want to say thank you all for being here. As you see, the Muslims are ignorant about their religion. They speak about Allah, that he is not a man. But the fact Allah, he have a shape of a man. And there's tons of hadith. Actually, there's a hadith, which is very important. Muhammad saying that the false Messiah and Allah, they look exactly the same. The difference only is one eye. That's all. Well, Amir will call me. Uh, not now, you know. It's it's uh, it's already late. It is it is a three almost three a.m. in the morning. So tomorrow he can call tomorrow. I mean, we go, we stay for hours. Says we wanna. Now he decided to call when I wanna go. He's here for the last two hours. Two hours. Now he decided to call. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. We answer that. Watch the video before it, and you will see this is funny and stupid. Muhammad was copying the, you know, either he is copying the, the, the Arab, uh, you know, they, they worship uh, pagan gods, or he was copying the Jews. The Jews, they say, say that your Lord is Echad. Echad is not number one. Echad is one as unity. In Arabic, the word Ahad is one off. So the one who chose that sentence is proving to us again, Islam to be stupid. When you say, Say Allah is Ahad. This is wrong Arabic. There's nothing is called in Arabic Ahad. You should say Wahid. Ahad is one off. Wahid is one. And you can put the word Ahad anywhere in the Quran and you will find that all of them they come in exactly as I said. Ahad is a word mean one off. In this site will appear about 29 times in your website. But I think it appeared more than 29. See, all those verses in the Quran, the word Ahad appear. All of them come in as one off. All of them. Hmm? You see the word Ahad? You see it? Ahad. Ahad. Anyway, your God is one, your God is two, who care? Your God is a stupid, your God do not know how the baby is made. Your God, he think that ice is coming from mountains and sky. Your God, he think the sun set in murky water. Your God, he think that uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So your God is one, he is two, he is three, still he is a stupid God. And this is what is important. 
Who care for your numbers? Your numbers is silly. At the end of the day, none of your God's statement is correct. One, two, three, God? Who care? If there is a guy, he is a Hindu, he believe in one million God, and then we find that those are exist, so he's right, and you are wrong. And you believe in one God, but your God is a stupid. How in the world God, he says, women, she have a sperm coming from her ribs? Actually, specifically, the location of the necklace. So he's one God, but he's one, he's one idiot God. He's the one and the only idiot one. Right? All right. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for those who support us. And I apologize. I went live on air again just to answer that person who obviously have a mental issue and need help. Christ is Lord. And see you soon again. I hope Muslims will learn, will understand, educate themselves, and come to Christ before it is too late.